let's practice some trig identities. So I am going to get you started, but I'm hoping that you're getting to a place where you feel confident trying these trig identities on your own. So I'm going to draw our trig identities line, and here's where I want you to start. I want you to start on the right hand side, it is the more complicated side, and start by thinking of this as a Pythagorean identity. So change 1 plus tangent squared using a Pythagorean identity and then try to simplify it to get it to look like this from there. So pause the video, try this trig identity out on your own, and then come back to check and see how you did. Let's check what you got with what I got. So I changed 1 plus tangent squared to secant squared using Pythagorean identity. Then I changed tangent to sine over cosine using my, excuse me, my quotient identity. Changed secant squared to 1 over cosine squared using the reciprocal identity. Then I did keep switch flip to get this and found that my cosines canceled, which ended with 2 sine cosine, which is sine of 2 theta. So let's try one more. Here's B. Now, I'm going to have you start by using your quotient identities to change cotangent to cosine over sine, tangent to sine over cosine. Then you're going to try to get a common denominator so you can combine those together. So try that out and then come back to check your work and see how you did. Let's check your work. So, like I said, change cotangent to cosine over sine, tangent to sine over cosine, and then find a common denominator. So I multiplied this one by sine over sine and this one by cosine over cosine to get a common denominator of cosine sine. So there's my common denominator. And on top, I get cosine squared minus sine squared. So there's my top which cosine squared minus sine squared is a double angle identity for cosine of 2 theta. So I changed that. Then I did keep switch flip, keep the numerator, switch to multiplying, flip the denominator. And I saw that, hey, 2 cosine sine is another double angle identity for sine of 2 theta. And now I have sine of 2 theta over cosine of 2 theta, which is the same thing as tangent of 2 theta. So I used my quotient identity to turn it back into tangent. So there's another example of a trig identity. In the next video, we're going to move on from our double angle identities and start to look at some new identities.